will the answer be? How about Greer? Taong 2020, nang muling mapadayo sa Amerika ang tubong General Santos City na si Mike Planya upang kaharapin ang American Bantamweight prospect noon na alaga ni Bob Arum na si Joshua Greer. Nang mga panahong iyon ay number one contender na si Joshua Greer ng WBO sa Bantamweight Division. Kaya naman konting panahon na lang at malapit na itong isabak sa world title. At dahil nga sa Super Bantamweight kumakampanya si Mike Planya at si Joshua Greer naman ay sa Bantamweight Division ay nagkaroon ng catchweight ang dalawa na 120 pounds. Sa weigh-in ng dalawa ay nagdala ng unan si Joshua Greer, isang pahiwatig na papatulugin niya ang ating kababayan sa kanilang laban. Bago ang kanilang bakbakan ay may baong kartada si Joshua Greer na 22 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw at may 12 KO. Habang ang ating kababayan na si Mike Planya ay may kartadang 23 wins, 1 loss at may 12 KO. Halina mga kaboksing at muli nating balikan ang kanilang naging bakbakan. I'd like to see Josh Greer tonight do exactly what he's doing. Take his time. Put the pillow away for now. Get your jab going and get a good rhythm. And then if the shot opens up, it'll be there. But don't force the knockout. Don't get caught up in, in, in you know, the moniker of night night. That's what's kind of set him back, I think, the last couple of fights. He's trying too hard. He needs to let the fight come to him like he's doing right now. That's it. I want to see how this this newfound you know mindset for Plania works out for him against a guy like Josh Greer. Oh! He puts Greer down. Sa unang round palang ay tumumba na agad si Greer, matapos itong tamaan ng kaliwa ni Plania sa panga. Down three, a left hand floors five, Greer. six, seven, eight. Well, Come what do we have here? Going up there, guys. Halfway through round one, and Plania has scored the knockdown. And now, how do you react? Sam Plania had explosive react? punching power. Tess, I said that he has explosive punching power. That shot came out of nowhere. That was a lead left hook from Plania. And now he steps to Greer. Remember he said, I don't want to rush things, but look at this surge he has early on. What an incredible way for Plania to start off his night. Left hook scoring the knockdown in the middle of this first round. And now a right hand comes in from the Filipino fighter. He's very explosive and unpredictable, Plania. Settle back in, and he does so with a right hand to the body. Plania just looks so much bigger, his upper body and his legs, than Joshua Greer tonight. Got two and a half inches on Greer. Greer checked in at 5'4", 120 on the scale. Plania came in at 119 and a half. Ten seconds. First time to rehydrate. I got it. I got the ball. Big way to start the evening for the upset seeking. Set the wheel. What does he do? Greer was looking for a jab and cut. No, it was a lead left hook coming from Plania. That's all you gotta do. Keep it. Sit down. Take all the time. Set him down. You know what? Greer was actually shooting the jab. Dropped his right hand in the process. The way mark of our scheduled ten round main event. Crucial fight for Joshua Greer if he wants to live up to everything he plans to be targeting here. But right now, Mike Plania feels like he could be in control of things, having scored the knockdown in round one. Coming out firing here with long-range right hands to the body 
against Greer in round six. Earlier tonight, guys, I said one of the things we're going to look at with CompuBox is the punch output. Early on when we started tracking Josh Greer, televising his fights, he was throwing over 66 punches per round. In the last three fights that have come with wins but some criticism, his output dropped to 45 punches per round. He has been in the 30s tonight. 35, 31, 37, last round 36. So he's even less than what we said we would be monitoring as the target line that he dipped to. But part of the reason, or all of the reason, is Michael Planning. Greer cannot afford to make any mistakes, so therefore he won't throw as many punches. Because Planning is landing shots like that, and the shot we saw Greer get knocked down with in the first round. He doesn't want that to happen again, so he's very economical. He's trying to be very choosy with what he throws, therefore the percentage has come way down. That was a good right hand to the body from Planning up moments ago. Bernardo, I assume that corner is bullish right now. What are they saying? Yeah, they, he actually told me, uh, Osmari Fernandez said, I'm happy. He said, I told him, you're the boss, but you got to let your hand go. You're in control. You're dominating this fight. Greer's not punching, so take advantage. And he had just missed a vicious right hand or grazed. That shot grazed the chin of Greer just a few seconds ago. Greer has to be careful after he throws his combinations, especially to the body and not raise straight up so plenty can land that right hand. Somebody needs to teach Greer Newton's third law of motion. With every yes. action, there's an equal or opposite reaction. When he does something, Plania is going to do something. And then he needs to do something to Plania and expect something to come back. Yes, he is. He's in total control right now. What will the answer be? Bago matapos ang round 6, ay muli na naman bumagsak si Greer nang tamaan ito ng left hook ni Plania, ngunit nasa ibay dabel pa ito. Going down again! We just said it. You could see it in the body. Down and up. Down and up. Here we see Plania doing what he's been doing, just moving slightly, but then that left hook has a mind of its own. He didn't wind up. He didn't telegraph it. He just whipped it. Here we see right here. Boom. Right there, short shot. Landed right on the chin of Greer. And then the legs of Greer betrayed him, and down he went again. Don't drop your hands back that left hook is something vicious. At pagkatapos nga ng sampung rounds na bakbakan, ay panalo ang ating kababayan sa pamamagitan ng majority decision. Judge Dave Moretti has it 94-94. Tim Cheatham has it 96-92. Patricia Morse Jarman has it 97-91. For your winner by majority decision, Magic Mike Melania! Not quite sure what Dave Moretti was watching with the widespread 97-91 and 96-92. Far more legitimate and accurate depiction